Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be visiting Linus BBQ in Itaewon. This place is known for its authentic southern style barbecue, and it was recently saved from closing thanks to a crowdsourcing campaign by Asian Boss. We ordered the ribs, pulled pork, and brisket platter, as well as a side of jalapeno mac and cheese, garlic bread rolls, baked beans, coleslaw, and Cajun fries. The Cajun fries were absolutely delicious. They were perfectly crispy and crunchy, and the Cajun seasoning was just the right amount of spicy. The jalapeno mac and cheese was also really good. It wasn't too spicy, which I liked, and the cheese was creamy and gooey. The meat platter was a bit of a mixed bag. The brisket was a bit dry, but the pulled pork was solid. My favorite was definitely the BBQ pork ribs. They were well spiced, and the sauce was the perfect balance of sweet and smoky. I really loved being able to create my own customized pork burgers with the garlic bread rolls. I piled on some coleslaw, pulled pork, mac and cheese, and a little bit of jalapeno sauce. It was absolutely delicious. I really enjoyed my meal at Linus BBQ. The food was great and the service was excellent. I would definitely recommend this place to anyone who is looking for a delicious and authentic southern style barbecue experience. The next BBQ restaurant is Soup Ge Chong Yuk Chim, a Korean BBQ spot. This is my girlfriend's brother's favorite place to eat in the area, so we had to check it out. The place was incredibly busy and packed full of patrons. The waitresses quickly filled our table with customary banchan to complement our epic meal. Of course, they eventually brought out the fiery red hot charcoal, which would serve as the heating vessel for our protein consumption. The table was set, and the main event was coming. Huge, fat pieces of pork belly, known as samgyopsal in Korean. The waitress was kind enough to cut our pieces of samgyopsal to make sure they were evenly cooked. The ventilation systems were quite sophisticated, efficiently sucking up all the smoke in the air for the most pleasant eating experience. Some garlic submerged in sesame oil boiled on the side. Finally, the pork is ready to eat. I love the fresh wasabi they provided. It complemented the pork belly very well. Next, a large bowl of Donjang Ji Gai, also known as soybean paste stew, was brought to our table. Piping hot and still in a rapid bubbling boil, the smell is intoxicating, a mix of savory umami and a hint of spice. Its presence really rounds out the entire meal. But there was more. Spicy fried rice topped with egg and seaweed. Next to it, Korean black bean paste noodles, famously known as jajangmyeon, topped with a slice of cheese and egg as well. It was awesome. The cheese slowly melting and integrating in the noodles. They just paired so well together. What an epic feast the four of us were able to enjoy really reinforced my love for Korean food. It was just so awesome to eat Korean BBQ at an authentic Korean restaurant in Seoul. American or Korean, the best BBQ in the world can be found in this city.